Hello Aries, let's get started with your reading. Please note that I do offer telephone readings for $40 bookings on my website. Let's see, rest and rejuvenation is a focus in terms of your love life right now. You and a partner are enjoying relaxing together, sitting back, you know, just hanging out time. The thinking man energy says that both of you are talking and thinking a lot about your future together. And goddess of the moon, Aries, look at you. You're looking beautiful. Your partner feels as though you're really in a stage and phase of glowing up, my friends. So let's look and see the Celtic cross spread is going to tell you your partner's thoughts, feelings, and intentions. So let's see what we have here for your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions. All right. So Aries, the situation currently is the Wheel of Fortune. Your person feels very lucky to have you. They feel lucky to have met you. Jupiter energy. They feel as though you're at a high time or a very positive time in your relationship. The Devil cards, though, says that your person probably is very controlling. There are some toxic energies that they need to deal with. I don't think they're dealing with them. I don't think they're acknowledging them. That is usually a very a card of wanting to control or manipulate a situation to make it come out the way they want it to come out. The Five of Swords energy at the base of the reading is telling me that you're not feeling entirely comfortable with the relationship, but you're really not talking about it. You're not doing much about it at this time. There has been a new beginning in the recent past. Again, when I get the devil energy, here's where what we see, Aries, is that your person presents this beautiful flower to you and you feel like everything's okay. But there is sort of, you know, we all have light and dark, right? Everybody knows that. What we see is your person has a darkness that lies beneath the surface of the relationship. And I almost look at how these cards are even aligning in this reading. So we see a person that you're dealing with that is Capricorn. This is Aquarius energy. Um, but we see a person who doesn't really reveal themselves, which the Five of Swords, you feel like you don't really know your person as well as you'd like to. There's like this shadow here and you're taking a peek trying to see what's going on. When we get the Six of Wands, great. Your person does want a victory with you. They're very ego-driven in terms of getting that victory. They feel that this is important, that if they have you by their side, that that makes them a winner. They very much want you in their life. In the near future, Nine of Wands, they have fire in their belly to do the work for the relationship. The Hermit card speaks to the fact that right now they're sitting back and they're really searching for answers. They're not making it obvious to you. They're just being very quiet. They're probably almost very watchful of you and what you're doing. In the relationship sense, though, they definitely feel as though you have not make, made a full commitment to them. They feel as though you're looking at your options. Two of Wands says that you're at a crossroads in your life and you don't know what direction you're going to take they are wondering how that will impact them we get the magician card their hope and their fear so this is a hope because it's a positive card they hope that they can have the communication skills the chemistry with you and the practical offerings that you need to keep you with them so this person really wants you we also, oh, nice energy. What an outcome card, the sun card. Your person feels as though you are the person with whom they have been the happiest with in their entire life. They feel like you are the penultimate peak of fun, of sexiness. This is a, the house of romance. is the fifth house of Leo on the astrology wheel. And they just feel like there is nobody better than you. That you're, you're fun in bed. That you're, you know, you're fun to be with. That when they have you laughing, life is really good. They feel as though every day that they step into this uh, life with you that, you know, you're basically a ray of sunshine. And Aries, we know. We know your power. We know your sexiness and your appeal. But your person feels a profound desire 
to make this work with you. Again, they do see you as this, you know, goddess of the moon and your goddess of feminine energy. You know, they're giving a lot of thought to this. We see the thinking man with the hermit card, not really telling you anything. But, you know, as we look at this rest and rejuvenation, it is your person really taking time to give this a lot of thought, see what they can offer you. Let's look and just see what that energy of the devil is. What is that about? Tell us about this energy of the devil for our Aries friends. I really like this reading for you. I do get the Son of Wands. Now, the Son of Wands is a Knight of Wands. So that's a player energy, and it is in the reverse. So I get that your person may have been quite the player in their day. Um, they might have been manipulative with women. Let's see. Tell us more about that devil energy for your person. The Ace of Swords. They know what they're doing. When they do things, they are strategically aware of, of the impact on others. What else do we have that you need to know about the devil? Son of Pentacles. This person likes to move very slowly towards, you know, a romantic interest. And they actually hold back a lot uh, in an effort to have the upper hand because the devil is controlling energy. Um, and we have the Five of Cups. This person finds themselves very sad over this energy, that this has caused them a lot of grief in their life. You know, keeping their options open has always been toxic. Secrecy has been toxic. The Seven of Wands being defensive. Those are the ways that they bring toxic energy into the relationship. Is I, I feel as though they're secretive. They don't really let a lot be known. There, the, you know, again, when we get the devil card, we're you, you're just getting somebody who wants to manipulate the situation. There, you know, we we say it all the time in real life. Oh, that person is so controlling, and a lot of times it's not very visible. You have to be in a relationship with a person to see how controlling they actually are. So let's see what we have. The Five of Swords here shows that your person or you feel as though you don't really know them. What is that about? What is that? Tell us about what this person has hidden from you. Ah, the Hermit card, the Hermit card. So what we're seeing here is a person who actually is very comfortable being alone. This person needs a lot of alone time. They probably read a lot or watch TV a lot or, you know, they're probably in the same space with you, but off to themselves a lot. The Ace of Wands, they like to be the initiator in lovemaking. That excites them. What else don't you know about this person that you need to know? Five of Swords, this person has, um, the Five of Swords is an energy of being willing to take advantage. So they do have sort of a dark side there. They do invest when they feel as though it's appropriate or they think that they're going to get something out of it. We see the page, excuse me, this, yes, the Page of Swords. They spy online. They have different people they follow online. Tell us about that Five of Swords, because now we've had the Five of Swords twice. Six of Wands. Okay, so your person is not above doing a little bit of dishonest sort of actions to win. So would they cheat in a poker game? Mm, if the stakes were high enough. Do I think this person's a bad person? Not really. I think that they're sort of normal, but I think that they have a really strong need to feel in command of their life, and to that end, they will. They can be manipulative is what I'm seeing. Why do we have this dragon underneath the Fool card? Mother of Swords, your person's quite judgmental. The Five of Coins, they can be manipulative in that, because that's very manipulative. This dragon here, or this alligator, whatever the hell it is has a flower up here to lure you in so this person is good at luring you in but when they get mad at you it's almost like they don't talk to you or they just leave you in the cold again a manipulative energy they might even threaten to leave the relationship so it's uh, this person really wants to be with you but I could see that you would have some challenges 
Why is this person in this hermit energy over here? The Emperor card. They want to be the quiet leader. They want to have the upper hand. They want to make the most money. They want to have the largest say in what you're doing and where you're at and where you're going. Eight of Coins. I do like it, though. They do like to learn. It's a very intelligent person, a very... You know, again, I think this person is good. I think like most of us, they've been wounded. I think that they have some coping mechanisms here that are not favorable to the relationship. I feel as though for many of you, you know what those are. But I'm going to leave it there for you, Aries. It's been a joy. I'm sending you love from Chicago since I'm back. Let me know where you're at and where you're from. Bye-bye.